Let's throw in some quick hyperlinks. This is easy stuff, so I can't imagine us spending too much time on this. But uh, let's see. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to take this this last sentence of the post, the center-aligned sentence. It's driving me nuts. I'm sorry. I have to left-align it. It's driving me crazy. And I think what I'll do at the beginning of that paragraph is I'll type in something like for... I'll type in, of course... You can always visit the Flash product page on the Adobe website. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to throw in a hyperlink here, obviously, on this little piece of text here, the Flash product page, this hunk here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pop open a new uh, browser window, uh, Command T, Control T on the Windows side, and I'm just going to do a quick uh, Google search. Here's a neat Firefox shortcut, by the way, that I use all the time: Command K or Control K to throw yourself over into the into the search field there. And I'll just do Adobe Flash, and I'll hit up the well. It's not the Flash player that I want; it's the actual Flash professional that we want. Looks like I might have to go through the Adobe website here. Sorry, give me give me a sec here. Oh, where's our Flash Professional? There we are. Okay, that's what I wanted. That guy right there. Okay, I'm going to grab all that, copy it, close up the browser tab, back into WordPress, and I have my content selected there, the Flash product page. And then, of course, up on the formatting toolbar there, it's the hyperlink, the insert hyperlink icon that I want there. Go ahead and click on that fella. And you get this little pop-up window here. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to click after the HTTP and then paste. Because if you do that, I see this all the time. What happens is you wind up with two sets or a pair of the HTTP full colon slash slash bit. That's no good. So usually what I do myself when I first come into this window is I just select and delete this little piece or make sure it's selected before I paste and then that of course wipes it out when I when I paste. So just watch out for that. And the only reason why I'm taking a second to mention it is because I see it every once in a while. So just be careful there. So there's your link URL, no worries there. The target. Do you know about targets, setting a link target? Well, essentially what this means is where do you want the link to open? In the same browser window or in a new browser window? Well, I'm going to go new browser window and I'll make sure that that's set there. You can throw in a title for your link if you want, and you can also throw in a class, in other words, some CSS formatting if you want. I'm going to leave the last two items blank there though, and I will click on insert. Okay, so there's our link happening there. Let's save our draft. Make sure that's all happening. And then I'm going to go and preview this fella, and we'll see if our link works. So there's the link right there. And of course, the link appears in kind of this neat format here, because again, the formatting of that link is being driven by the overall theme that's running our blog, right? So I'm going to click on the Flash product page, and of course, that opens up the page that you and I were just on just a second ago inside a new browser tab. Again, that's the whole target idea, right? So, okay, hopefully no worries there. I hope that's all good. Okay, I'm going to close out of those extra browser tabs and head back to my post. I thought I would show you one more quick thing here, and that is how to create an email link. In other words, when you click on the link or when the visitor clicks on the link, um, an email will be created. Uh, in other words, your email application is going to launch and a brand new email will be created for you ready to go. So you might know about how to create these in other applications. Let's do it here inside WordPress. So what I'll do here is I'll add in another piece of text here as well. I'll say, and you can always email me. Okay, perfect. And I'll take that text, email me, and we'll set that as our link. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I have the content selected. Up to the top there, I'll click on this insert link icon. 
and back into this little pop-up here. Now, rather than using sort of a, a traditional or a regular URL, the HTTP stuff, let's get rid of that. And instead, if again, if you've never done this before, it's so easy to do. You just need to know what to type in. M-A-I-L-T-O, full colon, that's it, right? M-A-I-L-T-O, full colon, no spaces here, and then your email address. So I'll put Jeff at... 10tonbooks.com. That's all there is to it, right? So pretty easy stuff. So again, M-A-I-L-T-O, full colon, email address. Now we could leave it at this and that would be just fine. No worries there. But what you might want to do as well is you may decide to force the subject line of the email as well. In fact, you can do a lot of cool things. You can force a CC address. You can even force part of the body of the email, which is really cool. But I'll just kind of keep it simple here. We'll just force the subject line here. So I have mail to full colon, my email address, followed directly, no spaces here, followed directly by question mark, subject equals, that's it. After the equal sign, type in whatever subject uh, you want for the email. So I'm emailing you about Flash or whatever you want, right? So really this subject here after the equal sign is the only spot you would have spaces in this whole, you know, entire string. So hopefully all good. Everything else is fine here. Go ahead and click on insert. There's the link. Let's save our draft and let's go ahead and preview them. And I'm going to leave this up to you because I don't have an email program configured on this particular machine, but go ahead and look for that email me link, click on it, and that's all there is to it. Super easy stuff. All right, let me show you one more quick thing back here in the admin interface, and that is how do you go about editing a hyperlink? Well, all you need to do is just reselect your link there and then you could click on the same icon there, which is also an edit link icon. Go ahead and click on that. And you wind up inside the same dialog box here. It looks like I didn't have my link selected properly. It should show up there inside the link URL field. Let me try that again here. If I just single click here and there we are. That's what I was after there. So it looks like just a single click inside your hyperlink will do the job. Anyway, so you can come in here, change some of your options, change the URL and so on. And then of course, click on update. Or if you want to get rid of your link, this guy right here, the remove link icon on your formatting toolbar. So anyway, hopefully all good. I kind of raced through it, but hyperlinks are pretty easy here in WordPress.